What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Camille. And if you're not new, thank you for clicking on another one of my videos. Okay. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe because y'all already know what to do. Y'all already know the vibe. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss on a video and when I upload. Today's video, we are getting into some juicy and personal things you guys ask me questions you guys ask me advice and i'm here for you okay i'm here to share some tea about my life i'll let y'all in just a little bit you guys know I'm very transparent but i'm very private at the same time um but i wanted to do this video so you guys can get to know me a little bit more i'm also getting ready in this video um so if you guys want to know any more makeup details just leave a comment down below because the focus is mainly on the questions and the topics that i'm given so i hope you guys enjoy this video again be sure to comment like and subscribe follow me on my instagram and my other social medias and i'll see you guys in my next video i think i'm gonna put my sweater on for this because it is an ice box in my house right now just for now because it's freezing let's just get right into these questions y'all asked a whole lot y'all want to know a lot about my business and as y'all know i'm a very private person so i'm letting you guys in a little bit because we like to be transparent of course over here on this channel not like the most asked question how did you meet your boyfriend also i'm going to be doing my makeup but i'm not really focused on it so if there's anything you guys want me to if you guys are wondering about any products that i'm using just um let me know but yeah so how did i meet my boyfriend we met through a mutual friend at a game night supposed to be game night ended up going to a club and it was actually on my best friend's birthday night like bringing in her birthday so and it's like he introduced himself to me and my friends and i was just like this is gonna be my man like it sounds really weird but yeah that's how we met how did you get into vlog life um i actually really love vlogging how did I get into it? I don't know. I just started doing it. It started with me doing college vlogs when I was in school. I did go to the Art Institute um, for fashion marketing and management. And I started vlogging at school on campus. I don't have those videos on my channel anymore. They're like hidden just because they're so cringy now when I look back at them. Um, but yeah, that's how I got started. And I used to vlog, upload a video like every single day what's a job you wish you had like a dream job mm, that's a good one because i feel like i'm doing my dream job i just have to be more consistent my dream job is definitely to be like a really good big content creator and we're getting there slowly but surely we're getting there what's your favorite thing about being in a healthy relationship my favorite thing is that we really are best friends like that's my bestie um, and we're very comfortable with each other and we're just very transparent with each other and we understand that you know at the end of the day because we do live together at the end of the day all we have is each other so it's no need to like be against each other when did you find out you had lupus so I found out I had lupus like after I came back from a graduation trip in high school so 2015 and me and lupus been rocking together ever since baby <laughs> um it's definitely hard some days because when i first found out i was like super super sick so yeah those were some really tough times but i got through it and actually it's very manageable for me now i know what's gonna make me sick i know different triggers and stuff like that and I try to take care of myself. I really need to do better with my health. I really do. I know I do. <laughs> I really do. What's the biggest goal you have for your career? Um, Just that my message gets across to everyone that needs it. Meaning, like, I just want everyone to know that you don't need to be this girl, this type of girl, that type of girl to get the things in life that you want. Um that's one of my biggest goals just to be a really good leader and influence over girls younger than me and 
Yeah, I guess like my bios I'm putting on for all the quote quote regular girls. You know? That's me. What would be your advice to someone who wanted to start vlogging? Just do it. Seriously. Just start and talk about whatever because I feel like I talk about whatever. I'm gonna go in with some moon dust by Urban Decay on my eyelid. See what the next question is. Do you prefer being a bartender or a bottle girl? Right now, y'all, I never really gave a backstory as to why I'm not a bottle girl anymore. And if you guys care to know why, I will tell you guys later. Just ask me down below. <laughs> Um, but right now I really prefer to be a bartender. I guess just the way that my job where I work at is set up. I just prefer to be a bartender. Um, bottle servers, they definitely are bringing that bag in. I'm not even gonna lie, but I'm just at a different point right now where I just don't want to, I just didn't, I wanted to be a bartender. I really upped my bartending skills. So, um, of course, you know, when you learn something new, you want to work on it and perfect your craft. I'm still open to um, answering any questions about bottle service. Um, definitely be sure to check out all my other videos I have about bottle service life, being a bottle girl, all that. I'm still friends with all my bottle girl friends. <laughs> they always want me to help them run signs and run bottles and I'm like, I, have on, I don't even have on uniform, okay? Yes, I definitely, right now in this moment, I do prefer being bartender or bottle girl not for money reasons just my own personal opinions and feelings that i have that's all mm, how do you balance being so open by vlogging your life while staying private it's hard i ain't gonna lie because i am a very private person just because with my family you know i have witnessed hurt within my family being in a public somewhat public eye and you know i was a part of that and i just always told myself that I would never put myself in a position for anyone to hurt my family members, slander them, talk about them, troll them. Y'all can troll me all you want, but when it comes to my family, you can't do that. You have crossed the boundary. You cannot do that. So, yes, I do choose to be very private when it comes to that and my relationship. I am a little bit more open with my relationship just because y'all can't slander him either, but he will gather you right on up. Just know that got that <laughs> he definitely will gather you get your life right on together and honestly you know if i didn't have the platform that i have now i probably wouldn't should be as transparent with you guys or at all um just because you know it's hard but i choose to be transparent as far as like my daily struggles my battle with depression i choose to share that with you guys simply because i know that there is someone out there that's going through the same thing and needs just the same amount of encouragement that i am getting from outside that they might not be receiving so you know i try my hardest to be as transparent as possible with that but some things you just want to keep to yourself you know i just you know having a platform you want to have you want to share as much as possible but you know it's like one or two things i would like to keep to myself you know and that's my family it's really hard to vlog when like i'm around them and stuff just because you know like i enjoy spending private time with them they're not on social media like that so it's like i don't want to put that all on them you know and people get to dig in and wanting to know more about my family and this and that and the third trust me if i was as open as i probably as a lot of people are probably be real big right now spilling all types of tea all that greatness but i'm not that kind of person i just can't get myself to do it because i can't i don't know if i can bear to see someone slandering someone that's not me based off of my platform so i choose to keep a lot of stuff private now my friends y'all can see my friends because they like me they can handle the trolls and the slander because they're gonna gather you right on up but my family you know that's different it's a sensitive topic for me because i just they're so close we're so close so yeah i try my hardest to keep a lot of things private um and like my life it's kind of hard though sometimes it really is because you still want your vlogs to be interesting too so that is how i try to stay private someone asked are you in love Yes, I am. Let my man. I'm going to stick beside him. Finding a niche or career path. 
One thing that I learned and I got from my mom is you can always, it's never too late to reinvent yourself. You can reinvent yourself a thousand times, okay? People do it all the time. Trust me. Do it all the time. So don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. I'm learning that now every day. I feel my mom is needing to tell me this every single day because... I don't know. Tomorrow I might want to be an astronaut. I don't know. Um, I think that's another thing with being in your 20s and just figuring out who you are and what you really want to do. Right now, my career path, really am focused on my YouTube channel and taking off with that. Um, my main struggle is content um, because I am so private. I only want to vlog all the time um, and like pick content pictures. You know how long it takes to get ready to take one picture? A long time. So I think that is a big thing that I've learned. So shout out to my mama. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. You could do it every day if you want to, okay? Um, I'm definitely working on like some other different career paths like outside of all the beauty and content creating that I do now. Um, but beauty just and makeup, it just needs, seems to never stop calling my phone. <sighs> Describe one of your best days ever. One of my best days ever was the day my brother was born. That's one of my best days ever. Um, I was the only child for a long time and I'm sure my parents probably had to choke me out to get me to understand that I'm not the only child anymore, but I'm still the only child, okay? I'm 25 and he's 12, so there's a big age gap, but Junior is about 25 himself, okay? If you know, you know. Um, another one of my best days, I guess graduating college and there's so many, I've had a lot of good days and I always try to remind myself. Um, but recently one of my best days slash like, I guess it could be a trip when we went to Miami, lit, 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 lit trip, like super fun. That was one of my, those are like a few of my best days I've ever had. So yeah. All right, y'all, I'm about to put these lashes on. I got these from the Dollar Tree. Don't sleep on the dollar store, okay? I love these. So give me one second, I'm gonna put my lashes on and I'll be right back. All right, now we got the lashes on. These are so cute. Dollar store, don't sleep on them, okay? This is what the package looks like. One dollar, well, 125 now. Okay, another question. I keep getting a lot of boyfriend questions. Uh, mm -hmm. Will you ever show us who your boyfriend is? I do be showing my boyfriend. Maybe I don't be looking hard enough. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, Will I ever show my boyfriend? I don't know. I like keeping it a mystery. Although, Everyone that knows me knows who he is, so yeah, I think that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, everyone that knows him, knows me, you know who he is, okay? But just know he is the biggest boss, okay? Everyone loves him to death. Maybe that's why I'm getting so many questions about him because he's such a great guy. Okay, one more boyfriend question because y'all killing me. Hold on. How long have you and your boyfriend been together? Long time. 10 years. Kidding, not 10 years. It feels like it. Um, we've been together for three years. And for relationships, the way this dating pool is set out, set up now, y'all. Oh, is if you're in a committed relationship, from what I've seen and observed, what my friends go through, um, at this point, it's just worth working out whatever that issue is you have with your man because this dating pool out here is trash. These men are trash, okay? I don't know what's going on, who raised these people. I don't know where I left off at, but yeah, we've been together for a long time. And um, yeah, dating pool out here, I be feeling so bad for my friends, male and female, because these women should be just as trifling too. And they make it hard for the committed, loyal girlfriends like me make us look bad. Like, come on now. Why would you ask me this? <laughs> Who is your favorite friend? Why would you ask me this? Why? Just why? I don't have a favorite friend. 
because, well, actually, I, I love all my friends. My bestest friends know who they are. But um, it's only a handful of people that know, like, every aspect of my life. Because I have issues with friends. Females are very trifling. And like I've said before in past videos, like, I'm just so blessed to have the group of friends that I have now. But I, all of my friends, I love something different about them because they all mean something different to my life. And they all bring something different to my table. My friend table, if that makes sense. Um, yes, I have best friends bestest friend and courtney because miss bottom of the map gonna gather you right on but up i can't too. say i have a uh, why would you say that i love every i love all of my friends differently and equally they're all my besties okay and they know who they are it's only a handful of them honestly it's only a group of people i talk to every single day and if not every other day, it's like, I mean, if not every day, it's every other day. My nose is itching from, yeah, they know who they are. But to answer your question, my favorite friend is my boo. Just to keep it, let's just keep it uh, civil here, okay? Because one thing about my friends, they love the freak out of me, okay? And they're going to go to war for me. So don't try me. My friends are going to come for you. And it's nothing I can do once it gets to one specific friend. And then it gets to another specific friend. Those friends I'm talking about are Nautica and Amber. And Courtney, Miss Bottom of the Map. And my sister Tierra will get you But right no, I don't have a favorite friend. I love all of y'all equally. This was one of my best friends I said, asked this freaking question. I do not have a favorite friend. <laughs> You have two best friends that don't live here anymore and it makes me sad all the time. Nautica lives in Texas and Courtney lives in Florida. I'll be sad without them sometimes. But they are living their best life. I will say. So that makes me happy. Not y'all picking, making me pick who's my favorite friend. A real quarter life crisis i think my real problem is i'm so emotionless and don't care i really bottle things up then cry and i hate that like i want to feel <sighs> let's talk about that because as you guys know i've really have been going through a lot since being 25 when a quarter life quarter life crisis are real okay Courtney, she's older than me, and um, before I turned 25, I was asking her, like, what was it like to be 25? She was like, mm, it's kind of hard because I was depressed when I was 25. I said, oh, wow, great. Then I turned 25, and, like, everything just went to hell a few weeks after I turned 25. Um, I think because you just hit your your... 25 so you're in your mid-20s now now it's almost time to be 30 and 30 you better have your shit together because what are you doing so you're trying to do all of it handle all that now so that way you'll have it together when you're 30 and i think that we just follow this narrative because my generation we're so involved in social media i think that we get so caught up in seeing people that are our age doing things that we should be doing because they're 25 when we don't know what they went through to get what they got at all. We don't know. And just like people don't know what we go through to get a lot. But I had to realize that for my age, I'm doing the damn thing. And it took a lot of my mom telling me, my boyfriend telling me, my friends telling me, like, you're really doing it. Like, But sometimes you feel like you're not doing enough. And I think that's how I was feeling, well, been feeling for most of this year like I'm not doing enough and then spending time being depressed it just puts a damper and puts a hold on you progressing so when I tell y'all we're going through this together we are going through this together all my ladies 25 about to be 25 if you're older than 25 let please leave a review how did how was 26 because I need to know what I'm looking forward to is this gonna last forever I hope not and I'm determined that it's not okay because depression is real. And, you know, I was in a really dark place a few weeks ago. And I'm just so grateful 
to have a group of people around me that I do that genuinely care about me and want to see me progress and be successful because I am going to be successful, okay? And that's just that. I'll put here on this earth to just do nothing and be live just be normal i'm going i'm not normal so yeah i'm here to leave my mark and before i leave i'm going to leave my mark and that's one thing i had to just have a conversation with myself about but i don't know y'all i'm in my 20s still so we're going through this together and that's why i'm so happy that i have this platform and i am as open as i am with you guys to share these experiences. I'm not afraid to share with you guys about me being depressed. I'm not afraid to share with you guys about me having anxiety. I mean, hell, today before filming this video and sitting down, I was having a whole wonky, wonky weird day. So I just had to get out of my house and just drive for a second just to, you know, bring yourself back down. Cause it'll, depression will take you there. That's all I'm going to say. It'll take you there. And then it'll leave you there. Okay? But one thing I know is that God is never going to give me nothing that I cannot handle. And I have to tell myself that every day. And I know sometimes I be like, I know you give your strongest your, your strongest battles to your strongest soldiers. But how you know I'm that strong? Because I'm over here caving in, God. I'm over here caving in. Caving it. So, we're going through this together, okay, y'all? Like, I promise, y'all are not alone. We're in this together. That's why I try to do a check-in every vlog. I hope you guys are being kind to yourselves. I hope you guys are showing love to yourself because that is exactly what we need. And so, there's someone out there that's not getting told that. So I want to make sure that when you guys watch my videos, that I'm that person that tells you to, to remind you to be good to yourself, be kind to yourself. Because I, when I tell y'all I'm so hard on myself, it makes me sick sometimes. Like my boyfriend had to be like, "Girl, calm down. Like you need to relax." relax for a second like you're overthinking and situations haven't even happened all that i have a few like a lot well yeah i got like a lot more questions i'm trying to go through some things are just really personal and i don't want to answer i'm sorry okay should a man properly ask you to be his girlfriend or or do y'all just go together mm -mm. I feel like for some reason this generation dating pool don't be understanding the definition of chivalry. Like the chivalry, I'm not talking about what I go through. I'm talking about what I see. I think chivalry is dead. Like y'all don't, these men out here just be mm, giving bare minimum. And like these girls, it makes me sad because these girls be accepting that bare minimum BS. Like, come on now. I, my answer is yes. Yes, I do think that a man should properly ask a woman. Figuring out life in 20s. Like I said, you guys, we're going through this together. I don't know. And I'm in a place in my life where, like, literally, I'm that friend. Like, I know all the answers to everything. If I don't know the answer, I'm going to call my mama, and my mama going to know the answer. She's going to get us on the right path. But now, I'm just in a situation where I don't know the answer. And I had to come to the conclusion that... Camille, you cannot always be superwoman. You cannot always save the day with your friends because that's my goal. I'm going to try my hardest with my friends and my family to save the day. But come to realize, I needed someone to come and save my day. People that you've been saving their days, they ain't nowhere to be found. So, um, yeah, we in this together, y'all. Like I said, this is the first time in my 25 years of living that I don't have the answer. And it's weird for me because I always try to figure things out and think for myself. And it's hard, okay? Like, it's hard. trying. And I'm really good under pressure. But when I tell y'all, I've been cracking under pressure. Caving in, okay? So, we're in this together. I promise y'all, I'm going to be as transparent as possible. You guys can always DM me. If you have my number, text me, call me, FaceTime me, whatever it is. And I'm going to be there for you because we're going through this together. I'm not going to let my girls and my guys, I'm not going to let y'all go through this by yourself. Because currently, I'm not going through this by myself. 
y'all are going through this with me. And a lot of things that I've been noticing is a lot of people my age group that's turning 25, between like 23 and 26, like a lot of us are going through the same exact things. And there's not really a lot of content creators that are talking about this. And I just want to be the one that does and be transparent about it because I say this all the time. It's okay to not be okay. And right now, we're not okay. But collectively, we're going to be okay and we're going to figure this out. And one day, I'm going to have the answers for y'all again. What keeps you going through your dark darkest times? I don't want to cry talking about this part. But what keeps me going through my darkest times is the people around me because depressing depression you seem to isolate yourself which I did and not talk to people but luckily my friends that I have they know when I'm going through something because if I don't I don't call them every day the ones that I talk to every day if I don't call them every day then they're gonna be blowing my phone up so I can't even ignore their calls if I don't want to talk to them so that uh, surround honestly just surrounding yourself around people that genuinely and truly care about you and I can say this a thousand million times like I'm so grateful that I have this group of people around me that I have my family my core those are my that is my core uh, my boyfriend my bestest friends like bestest bestest friends like honestly like shout out to Amber she literally came to save the day one day and I'm like forever indebted to her for that. Like, I really am. Not that none of my other friends did nothing. It was just in this specific moment in time that I'm talking about. Um, surrounding yourself around people that just genuinely care about you. Not, but not when you're going out. Not when you're doing something fun. Not when you're the cool girl. Not because of who you know. Because they genuinely rock with you as a person and your the inner you I wasn't trying to do a whole full beat because I'm literally not going anywhere I'm doing this full beat so I can look cute around my man because I'm sure he's tired of me looking like a bum because your girl's been bumming it since I got back from Florida for real this last question Will you be getting back into entrepreneurship with your cosmetic line so you guys know I am still the owner of Beauty Minks Cosmetics well, Beauty Minks collection in cosmetics. So with that line, I was selling lashes and lip gloss and highlighters and bonnets, t-shirts, just really promoting my brand, Beauty Minks. Um, and I miss doing Beauty Minks. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I do. But something. sometimes you have to get things in order so that way that business, once you get it, is gonna flourish immediately. So you gotta do all the groundwork first. And then we can get to selling product, you know? You know, just say I'm not about to do a full beat. And I'm over here putting on blush and I'm not going nowhere. Also, you guys know that I was a makeup artist for a long time. I took a long, 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 long break from doing makeup because I think me doing makeup for corporate was just affecting my makeup styles for myself and my business on how I like to do makeup. Because when you're doing makeup for corporate, you have to do it their way. And like, you can't really stray away from it. You could try, you could do a few little things different, but you know, their trainings and stuff, you really have to follow it. And don't get me wrong, like I learned a lot of new techniques and stuff, but I still like doing things my way. I definitely miss, I still wear my Beauty Bay bonnets. I still have, Friends who wear my Beauty Babe collection t-shirts. I still wear them. Um, my bonnets are bomb. You guys know I made my bonnets um, in honor of my Nana who passed away because I still have one of her bonnets that I will never ever lose. <laughs> that was my girl. And I miss her a lot. Um, yeah. Also, like, I just kind of, there was a situation that happened, which is why I try not to do, take appointments in my house. We should do a story time on that. <laughs> yeah, there is a specific reason why I try not to do makeup, take appointments in my house, protect my sanity and my peace. But if I know you know you, then yeah, 
you can I can do it in at my house. Boundaries have been crossed, so it's a wrap for it. That was kind of why I stopped doing makeup, and I was like, I'm not doing this shit no more, because y'all got me bent. So, that should be a story time. Let me know if y'all want to know, because it's real juicy. I'll share the tea on that one. But will I ever do makeup again? I told y'all makeup. Don't never stop calling my phone. So I don't think I'll ever stop doing makeup or selling product completely because I have a passion for entrepreneurship. I am an entrepreneur, okay? I am. And so, yeah, I'm I'm currently am accepting appointments again. Um, slowly but surely, okay? Slowly but surely. But um, I'm never gonna stop with beauty the industry is growing back up again because you guys know because of the pandemic it did stop so yeah i'm not gonna stop okay i'm not i can't i can't I have too many people that look up to me too many people counting on me too many people that support me with all their soul and might like i can never just i can't just give up i just can't I can't and I tell myself that every single day because there are days where I want to give up and just let it all go but why not when tomorrow I could blow up you know why not when tomorrow something big I get a big break you know so it's a lot of life worth living and we got a lot of goals we are going to crush thank you guys so much I really hope you guys enjoyed me spilling some tea and answering some of your questions um if you guys do need more advice from me please let me know um i would love to discuss it here on my channel of course it'll be anonymous um and yeah be sure to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video